Hello everyone, I'm Bob the Orc, and welcome to the lessons of Miyamoto Musashi. This is going to be episode 17, and tonight we're going to talk about Do Not Fear Death. Musashi said Do Not Fear Death, and I think there's a good reason for this. Obviously nobody wants to die, but... Whenever you act in fear, if you're in a life and death situation and you fear for your life and you act upon that fear, then you begin to hesitate. You begin to, to become paralyzed. You are less likely to act uh, decisively. And all that does is increase the odds that you're going to screw up and get yourself killed. So you need to face dangerous situations with courage. And that's not to say that you should be reckless. You should not be reckless. Recklessness is bad. But courage is good. Courage is being able to act even though you're afraid in the face of danger so that you can overcome whatever the situation uh, is requiring you to do. And Musashi faced a lot of life and death situations. I think he was in something like 60 or 61 duels or battles where, where he was victorious. He never, I, to my knowledge, he never lost. But, you know, a lot of these situations would have been very dangerous for him. And if we look at it in the modern sense, you know, if we, if we apply this to the modern world, not fearing death is particularly important nowadays, too. So... First off, everyone dies eventually. You know, that's uh, the two inevitable things in life are death and taxes. And, and uh, you just can't get around them. So everybody eventually dies. And how you live your life is important. And how you deal with death is also important. Um, it's not that you should want to die. You know, I certainly don't want to die. But if it happens, when, when it eventually happens, I hope that it's not something stupid like me slipping in the shower and hitting my head. That'd be a really dumb way to go. So let's look at it from a couple of perspectives. So first off, uh, many people are, are religious and believe in some sort of afterlife. And so if you've lived a good and honorable life, then presumably when you die, there should be some sort of positive afterlife. So dying is not really that big of a deal. If you're an atheist and you don't believe in an afterlife and you think that when you die, the light switch just goes off and that's that, well, then you shouldn't fear death either because once you're dead, you won't know the difference. So how you, how you live your life is, is important. And how you face death when you know that it's coming you know, perhaps you have an opportunity to do one final act of bravery. When the Fukushima disaster happened, and they had to shut down the reactor, there were some elderly Japanese people who were already old, and they were already sick, and they knew that they were eventually going to die soon. And so they volunteered to go into the reactor and work to shut things down and prevent the disaster. This ultimately killed them, but they were going to die anyway, and they chose to, to have, have one final act of courage, one final act of bravery, and that's a very noble and honorable thing. And so being able to choose your situation is often better than, than having your situation forced upon you. So that's, that's one way to, to look at it. Uh, to my knowledge, Masashi died peacefully in his bed, which was good. And that's how we all hope to go, you know, dying peacefully, surrounded by our loved ones, perhaps. But having, having courage is particularly important, especially right now. Um, you know, hopefully these videos will be watched far into the future, but it's currently uh, January 31st, 2021. There's, uh, there's this virus thing going on, and a lot of people are scared. And, you know, it's kind of bad. But 
you can't let that paralyze you. You know, for example, I take precautions. I mostly work from home, and so that's good. And when I'm in the office, I'm able to stay away from everybody, so that's good, right? You know, I'm, I'm safe about it. But I'm not particularly afraid, because I'm not going to let this thing defeat me. I'm not going to let this thing ruin my life, and I'm certainly not going to let it rule my life either. I'm going to act with courage, and I'm going to pursue my path, and I'm going to pursue my goals regardless of the situation. And if that means that I have to find uh, creative ways to work around whatever dangerous situations there are, well, so be it. That's just part of life. Life is dangerous. Uh, for most of human existence, life was a very dangerous, uh, you know, living was very dangerous. You, you never knew when you were going to die, whether it was going to be from some plague in the Middle Ages or getting murdered in the street or being eaten by wild animals in, in, pr in primitive time. Uh, or marauding bands of, of, of barbarians or whatnot. You know, life has always been very difficult, and only in recent modern times has life become so easy that even the, even the poorest, most destitute among us are still relatively comfortable compared to, let's say, medieval standards, or even, you know, 19th century standards. So... I think a lot of people have forgotten that up until very recently, death was a very day-to-day -day thing that people had to cope with. So we should focus on, you know, you know, common themes. You know, Musashi has a lot of common themes. We should focus on improving ourselves, living our lives with courage, following our path, moving forward towards our goals, and as you encounter dangerous situations take precautions and deal with them deal with them intelligently but do not fear or don't act out of fear act from a place of courage and that's the that's the important thing because if you act from fear then all you're going to do is increase your odds of something bad happening whereas if you act with courage you're going to improve your chances of making good decisions so that's, that's what we've got here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this with your friends. Like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. And don't be assholes to each other. And live your life with courage. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next video. Goodbye.